Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age the Bail Guard, which I almost said Inquisition earlier, but it's fine. Um, it's a new day actually. The Valesline is slightly different because there's no way I could make it the same every single day. I only got two recording episodes out of recording on Halloween for like four hours. Plus, four and a half hours. Um, anyway, <laughs> that's exciting. Um, I had to hard quit after the character creation screen because the uh, the game was running, like, it was really stuttery, like, really bad. And it was because it had downloaded on my HD, like, HD drive. I think I mentioned it, yeah, in the last video. But now it's on the solid state drive. It's running really smooth, like, as far as I can tell. The settings are on ultra, and there was no, you know, it didn't give me a warning message. And it says I'm playing at a higher resolution than I can even record, so that's nice. And this monitor is capable of that, so it was... So it's nice for it to actually be like that. Uh, oh, hey, I think I started a, an episode. I started earlier and tried to explain this. I taped him here because he does such a good job of balancing the exposure somehow, like the white balance, because he's so white and he balances out my whiteness, you know? So it's like, makes me look a little less pale and washed out. Um, I don't know how long he's going to stay there. He's, he's slowly collapsing as we speak. Um, but I thought it was apropos because, as far as I know, Solus is kind of just like hovering over your shoulder in this game anyway as Rook. Like there's some, somehow they spoiled this where it's like somehow there's some sort of connection to him. Um, oh, also, wrong way. Um, this is the Dreadwolf Tapestry. Uh, this is not appropriate uh, for, for, the, for the time period that I'm fantastical wearing. Um, but yes, this is the Dreadwolf, uh, see, in my, just my hand being here, being wider, is making it better. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll do our best, but this is the Dreadwolf Tapestry, sorry. Uh, it's a shawl and a tapestry, but new day, can wear the cloak, it's not too hot in here yet. Um, and also, like, it's not Halloween, but, like, I thought I would get more recordings out of the Halloween day, and it turns out I didn't. And then, uh, also, like, I, you know, I spent money on this stuff, but so, like, the, all of this, the ears, everything, like, I want, I want it, I want to get some use out of it, so, so I shall. He's, this, he's literally only holding on by, like, a thread. Okay, so, like I said, we had an issue where I had to, like, hard quit, and I had started being in the game but you can see I was in it for 1 minute and 13 seconds and I was like I can't see anything like it was just like bu -bu 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 -bu, like really stuttery so I'm gonna try for this one that should be an auto save right after the character creator okay I'm honestly not sure where this is gonna go in the recording but I just spent the last hour and a half having to redo everything because my rook's eyes were not purple when I went in and it turns out I figured out that when you go into and I found out because I had done a bunch of screenshots yesterday that like my rook's eyes had been purple until like after factions and stuff and then they turned brown and I was like okay and I only found out in the cutscene that I just tried to do which again I had some stuttering problems so like with the screen and so I was I went back and I'm on high now hoping that that will work and uh like for settings and um changed her complexion to one that was a little less um harsh uh because I didn't, li didn't like it in the lighting in the game it looked really chalky uh so I was like okay I'm gonna change that and but I finally managed to figure out that the issue was because I, I didn't have to remake her I was able to import her from the from the save that she's on. Uh, but I did have to redo my Inquisitor, which was another sort of a nightmare. Not quite as long, but still took a long time. Uh, turns out when I went into my Inquisitor screen and then went back to the finalized screen, my Rook's eyes were brown again. And I was like, no. So I ended up being able to like, it, instead of, you can't just click up here, you have to press escape to go back. So I went back and her eyes were purple again. And then I checked my Inquisitor and my Inquisitor was still the way she was supposed to be. And, like, the way I'd made her. <laughs> and then I, you know, I did it a couple different times. Oh, no, my face is a G. Um, I did it a couple different times. And, um, I don't know if it's smeared or not, but <laughs> my face was a G. Um, so her eyes are purple again. Because, like, the, I don't know, it's like a defining feature for me. So I was like, I need her eyes to be purple. Even though you can change some things um, pretty quick, is what people were saying. I just wanted, like, the first intro to be good, you know? And, and I was able to change her complexion and figure out what was wrong, but, um, yeah. 
I you can change. I know I can, but I want purple eyes. Gosh dang it! Yep, she's still purple eyes. All right. Oh, let's do this. And hope it hope it's less. This is my third time trying to play the game. Hopefully the screen does not look like a PowerPoint. It was better, but it was still a little. Sad. So, where were we? Yeah. Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. Bad plan, by the way. No specifics. After I following his trail you. across half the known world... Love this map. Very good. We finally tracked him to Manrathus. Capital of the Tevinter Imperium. Here's me hoping everything's But to find together. the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. I mean, he's not gonna... So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. I've said it three times now, but that's how Varric's story starts. <laughs> this does look much better. This looks so much better. Okay. We're... I think we're good. I think we're golden. Honestly. Let's try this again. Where's Navgalus? That's me. That's Rook. You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Who sits like that on the bar? You know what I mean? Okay. She looks like how I raise I can finally play the game. Oh, I just really hope that everything over there, all my setup is over there. I hope it's all working. Oh, and Solas had to leave. I did have him taped here, um, but he fell off. Um, yeah. Alas. <laughs> As per usual, you can't, he doesn't stick around. Uh, so I would normally say, let's talk this out. I don't know who this woman is or what she's done. But like, we just, I think we just chucked a guy out the door, you know? So like, it's a little weird, but, and I look grumpy. But we can try. Let's try to talk this out. It's not a demand, it's an offer. Oh. Telling me what I need to know, it's... It's the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? <laughs> Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where oh, she is. We're just gonna spout we that name out. We here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Are these Venatori or what? Who are these people? You're adorable. <laughs> Dumat Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gals. Oh, my facial expressions are good. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. Are these her guards? For the bar? That offer's good for all of you, too. Oh, we're just like... No. But no? Oh, If okay. they won't listen to you, <gasps> they can always listen to Bianca. Hey, dear boy, stop. I, I, mean, I just need to take my hand off the mouse, apparently. The friend of Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. What? Although for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. Uh, uh. Oh, Varric has seen that you like talking your way out of things. Yeah, well, uh, this is fun. This is so fun. Like, this is interesting that it's gonna, like, keep track of that and, like, tell you that it's keeping track of that. Um, let's see. Ooh. Oh, do I? What kind of what kind of rook do I want to be? This is a. Uh... And there's like this whole history apparently between these two, right? Where like Varric's like, "You're my second in command," and I'm like, "I thought you didn't want to be doing spy stuff." I mean, he likes spy stuff, but not big spy stuff. This is probably actually more his thing. But again, I just don't know why. After ten years of trying to find Solus, our best 
plan to deal with him was to send Varric up to talk to him. You know, and to send Varric out by himself. Like, where was the Inquisitor on that gameplay cutscene? And then I know they had to cut things out, but I'm like, and maybe I, maybe if you, you, maybe it actually is the Inquisitor who goes up and talks to him. I don't know, but like, I'm just like, after all this time, and you're telling me that even with like our underground resources, which I assume are fairly substantial, because like people aren't just gonna stop. They're not just gonna, gonna give up on trying to like, you know, help, and. Even with all that, it's like, it feels very last minute, like, oh, dang, we found Solus in Minrathis, and, like, nobody else was around to help. You're telling me, where, where's Dorian at? You know? Like, I don't know. Those are some of my issues uh, <laughs> right now. But I guess we'll have to see. Like, maybe things are different. Uh, I gotta figure out what I want to say. I kind of, like, I might want to be, like, a funny, like, a funny guy, but I kind of want to say I had you on my side, just because it's, like, Varric, and that's the kind of thing, right? You walk into a bar, you do something crazy, and it's like, why'd you do that? It's like, well, I knew you had my back, you know? So, yeah. What did I have to worry about? <laughs> She's so gorgeous. You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Harding will be worried. All right, break's over. This is so wild to see Beric. They did give him chest hair again. Not quite as much Old as I think he had before. As you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. I mean, how do you not know where the Dread Wolf is setting up the a ritual? Archon's you know what I'm palace. saying? Something must have gotten them riled up. Whoa, the sensitivity is so high on the mouse. Okay, I'll try to be gentle. Maybe I can change that. Photo mode. We have photo mode. Woo! Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Ooh, Just get out of here nice and casual. Please. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. Yeah, 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 no big deal. This is Jeff. Look at this. They're all. <gasps> Get cat! Can I pet the cat? No! I did. There's an elf over there. I wasn't sure if elves would be, like, out and about in Minrathis. There's ostensibly some free ones, but. You, you don't know, you know? You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big. Talk ritual? him down? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. Yeah, yeah. I have to talk him down. You, I just... Why Varric? Why Varric of all people, you know? Why wasn't it a... Uh... Go on, then. Why isn't it the Inquisitor? Why is it Varric? Why is this the plan? After ten years. Oh, oh, oh. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. Why did they pick on her? We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we... <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, crap. We're too late. The ritual started, but if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. I just... Let's go! Why is the... He's finally oh, doing way. the ritual, right? She'll get us to Dumont Plaza, oh. and then we'll get us to Solus. Oh! Watch out! Oh! He's finally doing his ritual, and you think you're gonna be able to just walk up and be Solus like, Oh yeah! No, no I big deal! The is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks! When the comes down Whoa. Oh. And the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Oh, the redesign looks cool. Come on, this way. It should get us to Harding. Oh, God. Um, am I? Yeah, okay, this is running. F, we can jump with F. I might have to switch over to a controller. Oh, despair demon. You're safe now. Get inside and bar the doors quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Thank you, miss. 
It's harding. You all right? With ten times more freckles. I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. Menrathus is fighting back, it looks like. What about like. you two? Are you okay? Um... That was a lot of demons. The Archon's palace was taking shots at us, too. Guess the blood pumping. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Oh my gosh, do I get to wear my Where's actual armor? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. It's a little weird to have Harding I back. Saw. We've got company. Somehow she looks way different. Even more than Merrick does. Team. Ah, please. I was like, please help me. Uh, use your life tech, okay? Here they come. How do you... I mean, I... Oh, this one. The, I really like the redesign for the demons so far. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, even when I wasn't looking, they blocked it. Very nice. I think that's the last of them. Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. Whew. You two all right? Hatch yourselves up if you need it. I like the animation for I that. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. Look at this stuff. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. Yeah, I'm like, what's the... I, I did always wonder, it's like, well, what's the end goal? Also, this is like the first view of Minrathis, where the, like, magic is like just like an integral part of the city, so it is interesting to see really obvious magic as, like, signposts, kind of. And, you know, the veil falling apart and all that, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Can I... Oh! I was like, it was kind of a glowing green. Maybe green pots have stuff and the rest of them don't. I was like admiring the pottery, honestly. Okay, that one's that one's impervious to my damage. Uh, but yeah, it's like, so what's the what's the end goal? You know, like who's going to populate this? Is it just spirits? Are you gonna get rid of all like current like mortal beings and like get just only spirits? Like, uh, you know, I I uh, he never really went into details with his plan. Oh my gosh, Dishonored? The rats are like, peace out, man. They don't want to be part of this. Ah? Huh? Oops. Oh, okay. Space is a dodge. That's cool. I knew if I looked around a little, I'd find something. It's over here. Yeah, we got things to do, but um, there's an ancient shrine over here that I want to look at. Or like a frog god. This is so gorgeous. Oh, hello. You're definitely glowing. You've got things for me. You are in violation of Imperial order. Solus is? Ooh, ah. Oh no, I think that's Dumont Plaza. Let's move. They're like, oh, she's looking at this guy who's doing godlike powers. And, uh. And they're like, you're in violation of imperial order. Yeah, that. I'm sure that'll fix everything. She's like balancing on the edge. This is actually. That's a really interesting animation thing to be balancing on the edge. We're here, we're here. Ooh, I can block some magic. 
It's nice to see the Venatori back. Oh, I saw. That's cool. I like that. Is that who is that? Is Harding? Oh. Yeah, I see that. So were those Venatori in the bar? Because they had similar face masks. Let me in. Destroy nearby. Is this Red Lyrium? Sick. Sick, Reno. Like nearby crystals or this crystal? Like that's not nearby. That is the crystal, you know? More intruders! Yeah. Oh! Ooh! Friendly bunch of cultists, aren't they? We've had run ins with them in the Moron Watch. They're always hunting the dangerous. In the Moron Watch? Yep. That's them. I do love getting to use my shield to block actively. I might have to be a sword and shield shortly. All systems must remain in the magical anomaly that's fully contained. Magical anomaly. Oh? I'm so sorry. Ooh, these look like the Avar God statues. I would maybe think they were if uh, we were anywhere but to Vinter. I just. Come on. Guess we're sliding down. Oh, my. hang on, hang on. There's a thing over here. I mean, I'm sure money will be handy. What? What is that? That sounds like a demon or a dragon. So I'm gonna. I'm like having a heart pal. I'm like. <gasps> like it's so in there. Why? Why do you sound so dumb? Woohoo! Uh, 50 rage. We generate rage, not stamina. Use tab? Oh, I might have to pull out a controller. So it pauses it, and then I, whoever I'm highlighting, who can I change? Okay. Oh, so it's not just gonna... I'm just gonna do it? Okay. It Ooh! It's got a... It's got an AoE effect. You see Harding do that cool spin? Do it. Can I parry? Is that a thing? No. Oh, I tried to. The NPCs sound silly, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I can block even from the back. That's amazing. Are they trying to get in or are they trying to help Solus? You know, I doubt they're trying to help Solus. Another barrier. But it looks like Nev's work. Oh, she's in there. Okay. Yeah, Solus in the in the preview was uh just kind of up, out and about, you know? Any... no? Okay. Well, hopefully I don't die. I like that I already brought up the Mornwash, too. Hi, I'm a friend. Hey, Friday. Not the worst timing. <laughs> Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. Of course, she a lot had of everything under control. In the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Her prosthetic is sick Appreciate in her outfit. It. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. I mean, he's just Nev right there. Rook. Harding and I found her a while back. Thought <laughs> he'd use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece. One of the strongest pieces on the board, but she tends to think in straight lines. I, I, oh, I, is that is that why that's my name? Oh my gosh, it figures. To be fair, it's it's very um, appropriate. I, apropos, I think is actually the better term, but I keep saying that, so I'm not sure. But um, to be using chess pieces because there's a famous 
chess battle that Solus and Iron Bull did in Inquisition, if you bring them out, they will have a, like a verbal mental chess battle. And they just both remember where all the pieces are at any given point in time. And it's really, like, really important. One of my friends pointed this out to me recently, and I had forgotten this, is that the Solus wins... The, I'm pretty sure, yes, yeah, Solus wins, I think, the chess match by sacrificing his queen, which you could interpret as, like, the mythal Flemeth combination, uh, which is what he does do at the end of Inquisition, is he sacrifices her in order to get her powers. Uh, you could also look at it as him sacrificing his queen, the love of his life, and, like, Lavellan, and it's like, <laughs> it's so painful. Um, I'll be, I'll be cracking wise nice jokes. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? The lamps are gorgeous. I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in Elven ruins. I He's right up above our heads! Beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go. Before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. Yeah, elven yeah, Elven god? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. You can't just say something like that, like, that's so detective-y, but it's also, like... Like, it's also like, oh, that's nice. You're just gonna throw yourself against a god and hope for the best? Like, have some so, care. So, if you do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. Mm -hmm. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight-up fight, we're dead. Yes. This really is really gorgeous. I hope we get to play more in Minrathis. And I do, Neve's design is so good. I'm not a huge fan of like detective characters generally, so we'll see how things go with Neve. Um, they're just not my favorite. I tend to prefer, uh, you know, bow rushing warrior types, you know, or like clever warrior types, but yeah. Holy cow, these are people and they're just dead, like just regular old people. I do think I like the demon redesign. I'm not gonna be so sure about the darkspawn redesign, but the demon redesign looks very cool. Um, but I should probably call it here, so I'm gonna cut away to my Patreon, thank you. Thank you all for watching. Really quick, I wanted to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including the free members. There are a few of you out there, but I also wanna say thank you to my acorn tier patron fane thank you so much for your support i appreciate it i want to give an extra special shout out to my sapling tier patrons reese galito and sebastian james thank you so much for your support you guys i very much appreciate it and i want to give an extra extra special shout out to christopher my forest tier patron who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who i truly cannot thank enough so thank you all again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one